Factor by grouping, also known as the AC method. Background by Vlad Studio. Factor using the grouping method. Okay, so the first thing I do is I look at my A, which is 3, and I look at my 4, which is my C, and I multiply them together. So 3 times 4 is 12. So now I think of multiples of 12. Of course, we have 3 times 4, um, 1 times 12, and 2 times 6. Now we need to find which one of these multiples of 12 also adds to 13. So let's see. 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 12 is 13. There it is right there. So we know that 1x plus 12x equals our 13x. So I'm going to rewrite this expression, 3x squared, but instead of writing 13x, I'm going to write plus 1x, or just x, plus 12x, plus 4. And now my grouping starts. I look at the first two and I say, well, what's in common with the first two? Well, 3 and 1 only have 1 in common, but they both have x's in them. So I'm going to take out an x. So 3x squared divided by x is 3x. So that's what goes here. Then 1x divided by x is 1, and that goes here. Now remember, since this is a plus, I know I'm going to have a plus here. And what's in common with 12x and 4? Well, that would be 4. So I'm going to take 12x divided by 4, which is 3x. And I'm going to take 4 divided by 4, which equals 1. Okay, well, we're halfway there now. The next thing that I notice is that I have 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 1. So I'm going to pull that out. So I'm going to have 3x plus 1. Now when I look at the first part, when I take 3x plus 1 out, I'm left with an x. When I look at the second part, when I take 3x plus 1 out, I'm left with my 4. And it just so happens that this is 3x squared plus 12x plus 4 factor. So this is my answer. But I'm going to make sure, I'm going to FOIL this, okay? So 3x times x is 3x squared. Then my outside, 3x times 4, is 12x. My inside, 1 times x is 1x. And 1 times 4 is 4. Do you notice that 12x plus 1x is the same thing as what we had up here? So I'm going to make a little funny arrow like that. So I end up with 3x squared. 12x plus 1x is 13x. And then plus 4. So I know I did it right. And this is the answer. I'd like to thank Vlad Studio for this great background. If you need some more practice, go to www.pycrest.com for some great free worksheets with the solutions. Go to www.cafepress.com and look for Pie Crust, where you can purchase some really cool t-shirts.